stretch this out into. I know. <laughs> That's my job. I can come up with, with a different episode. So, but this is right into the commencement event. Hundreds of people have already said to the event that they are going and you're getting, um, so if someone has said on here on the Facebook event that they're going to commencement, but they haven't submitted the RSVP yet, is that something that they should do or is it fine just to say on Facebook that they'll be there? Um, it's definitely go, ahead, go on RSVP. Uh, you can do that through the commencement website, which you always have a link on there too. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, go on to the commencement website and RSVP. There's also a chance on there to record your name, which is really helpful for the announcer. And that's a pretty simple process. Mm -hmm. You dial the number, you record your name, and the person listens to it. Yep. Yeah, it's a really... It, takes like 30 seconds to yeah, go through the whole process. Um, and yeah, if you just do it from your phone, then you have your mic right there and you just speak your name into your phone three times and that's it. And then yeah, the announcer, Norm, uh, can hear all of that and make sure to make little notes to himself on how to pronounce your name. So that way, yeah, um, we make sure to do it correctly. And best to do that in advance, not the morning of commencement. Uh, yes, we ask April 15th that you, um, April 15th is when we're gonna try and give all of that information to Norm. So he has a couple of weeks to go through the hundreds of names um, that are on there. Um, so also people who are going to the event, they should wear comfortable shoes mm -hmm. and comfortable clothes. There's uh, walking and sitting and it can get yes. hot. It can get hot. Last year, I think they overcompensated on the heat from the previous year, so it was freezing in there last year, so I, I don't know what to, what to expect this year. But um, Like Alaska, just use some layers. And uh, yeah, do right. some layers and, uh, you know, the gown does kind of keep you warm too, so that's why we always told people in the past, make sure, you know, to dress light because the gown, it's, what is it, polyester? It's definitely not like a natural fiber that no. uh, breathes as well. So yeah, we don't want people overheating. Um, and they turn the floors on at the Carlson Center for the ice rink, so it gets, last year was a little chilly in there. So, and yeah, comfortable shoes. You're going down those narrow stairs at the Carlson Center and they're kind of steep, so safety first. Safety first. Know your college or school. Yes, and uh, we'll also be sending out an email in I think about two weeks is when that one's scheduled to go out. That'll tell you, um, just remind you what college you're in and because uh, it's not as simple as, you know, just UAF. It's, uh, you know, College of Liberal Arts or College of Natural Science and Math. And that's what you're divided up into uh, to walk. So I know that I just read a, an email that there are new cords added this year and yes. LGBT cords. Yes, we've had two new cords added, um, a teal cord for first generation um, students. So yeah, if you're a first generation uh, baccalaureate student, you can get a teal cord. And Donald Crocker, I believe uh, it's still Donald and Victoria Smith are who you'd want to talk to about that. And yeah, I heard it's a, it's a pretty teal cord, so people are getting colorful this year. Mm -hmm. And then um, the lavender ceremony, students have a, a rainbow cord so for LBGT um, awareness and people. And uh, so yeah, they'll be doing their lavender ceremony. And how do you cords. get those? You, do you Ronnie, get the lavender? Uh, so there's Ronnie Hutchins that Yeah, you? and that's who yeah you'd want to talk to about the lavender ceremony. And then there's other cords. There's honor cords. Mm -hmm. There's veterans cords. Um, so Alaska yeah, active Native duty cords. veterans uh, folks. You'd want to talk uh, talk to the military and veteran services office, and they should be sending out information too in the next couple of weeks about getting your cord from them. I think that's a red, white, and blue cord, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then yeah, there's the red sashes, and there's lots of regalia going on. So yeah, uh, the only ones that we ourselves, the registrar's office, hands out are the honors cords, though, for cum laude and magna cum laude and summa. Um, all the other ones you'd want to talk to um, who is representing those groups. And in the uh, ceremony itself, there's only certain things that are read. You might have had many accolades during your uh, academic career. Right. But you get your name and then your That's read on stage. Degree. Yeah, it's your name, your degree type, and your major. Uh, concentrations aren't read because... Uh, these things, yeah, it kind of adds up. So yeah, we try to, you know, we stick to name, degree, and major, and then um, just uh, institutional honors are the only honors that are read. And it's not to slight your achievements. No, it's just to yeah. make sure that the ceremony doesn't go yeah, on for eight hours. Some, yeah, we have some really amazing students out there who have a whole long list of great accomplishments uh, that we would love to read. But yeah, for the sake of time, we try and just yeah keep it to the same standard format for each student. But PhD recipients, they get the whole thesis yes, read. And yeah. there's a whole ceremony that goes on. They get the hooding ceremony. Well, PhDs still get hooded at commencement. They do have the gold reception the night uh, before where they're honored as well. Um, but yeah, they still do get hooded on stage. And that's sort of a moment like, 
Do you put the hood? How does the hood go yeah, on? They ha and yeah, it's it the advisor, on? and it's, I think, the D, I, I can't remember, the provost, I think, yeah, they do it together in, like, a joint thing, and, yeah, put it on. But, um, yeah, they get their whole thesis read, and, yeah, there's is kind of a, a bit longer. It's a pretty but, beautiful moment yeah. for, of achievement. But they've worked really hard for those they degrees. They Not that, yeah, everyone hasn't worked hard for their degrees, but they've worked a long time and really yeah. hard for those. They get those magic PhDs. They're a doctor. Yep. They're a doctorate. Um, my last question for you today, and people are watching this, are they, they say they're going to commencement is can I decorate my cap what are the rules for putting stuff on my there's, cap? there's no official like on the book rule or anything regarding ah. that. Um, but you know it needs to be appropriate yeah uh, you know we've, we've seen some really great ones out there I think you know one year where there's like a dinosaur head coming out yes and you see you know lots of flowers and Pinterest has so many ideas um, so you know we don't you know ever discourage you from doing that you know because we really do enjoy seeing those just you know it just needs to be appropriate and um, but yeah there's no actual rules on the books or anything regarding that but if something if you notice something if someone's like hey that thing oh oh there's a question <gasps> Will the program time be shorter this year? It's getting longer and longer. Each well, no. Year. Last year we did a really we we did awesome on time last year. The year before that, it was like four and a half hours. It was a long one the year before. Last year we did have it shaved down to two hours and forty five minutes. About um, so. Yeah, last year we were like perfect on time. We were we are right where we wanted to be. So we're aiming for that again. So it's something that you hear, something that you're conscious of. It's not you know that the program, the ceremony itself, can be. Beautiful, yeah, but uh, efficient. Let's say yeah. if we want to make it efficient. Mm -hmm. Great question. So uh, people say yay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other tips uh, for people who might be wrapping it up? Uh, check your degree work. Check your degree work. Get make your sure, petitions in. Yep, you know it all. You've heard this enough now, Andrew. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, what you said. You know, get your make sure all your paperwork is in. Check your degree works. Ninety eight percent is what you want it to say because until final grades are posted, it won't say a hundred percent. So ninety eight percent is that magic number right now that you are on track and everything is good to go. And all your check boxes, you know, will be. You'll I think you see like a blue squiggly line for the in progress stuff. You so. do, and it can be a little, a little concerning if you're like, I know, I know. But yeah, I once know. final grades are due or posted, then yeah, everything will be checked, and it'll say 100, uh, 100 percent complete. But and until then, ninety eight percent is your magic number. And what a feeling that is. Yep. You know that yourself just this year. Uh yeah. I'm, well, I'm really close. I'll be finishing up in the summer. Um, oh. Yeah, I just got to write my paper. Should we do a special <laughs> edition just with Haley? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Haley. Thank you very Thanks. much. We'll talk to you again next week. Yep.